So my name is Daniel Walsh. Uh, I've been a rower that I found out for 19 years this weekend. Um, this is my 15th head of the Charles, which is very exciting and depressing, so that means I'm definitely getting old. Uh, I started rowing in Norwalk, Connecticut for Norwalk Rowing Club when I was in middle school. Been doing it ever since. Uh, rode through high school, rode through college on a scholarship at Northeastern University, right up the river. Um, went to the national team right after I graduated, did that for nine years. I uh, got a couple world medals, got an Olympic medal, and took this year off to start my small business related around rowing, and look forward to training for London. My business is called Engine Room Fitness LLC, and it is a fitness company, and what we do is we teach Indo Row, which is uh, group exercise rowing, which is very fun and awesome, because it's uh, the first real market I've seen to get rowing to the masses. Um, we also do periodized training programs for endurance athletes. Say you want to get better for a marathon, 2K, a triathlon, uh, we do that. Um, oh, my business partner is Luke Walton, who's also an Olympic rower. Um, we also do functional strength training um, using dumbbells, sandbags, body weight, uh, and traditional Olympic style lifting too for people who want general programs. All around, we want to make everybody an athlete. It's tough to choose, but Beijing's pretty memorable. Uh, standing on the Olympic podium doesn't get much better than that. And I think, in terms of that, was calling my father to tell him that his son had won an Olympic medal. That's pretty cool. That uh, still evokes a lot of emotion. Same thing, because we didn't win. So, as ironic as it is, it's my favorite moment and my worst, knowing that we were two tenths out of silver and 1.2 seconds out of gold. Best advice anyone has ever gotten me is, if you don't feel like you want to quit while doing it, you're not trying hard enough. My advice is, just follow your dreams. Um, no matter what it is, whether it's rowing, whether it's life, whether it's school, but pursue something that's greater than yourself because that's the only way you really get reward out of it. Uh, it would actually be my brother, who has nothing to do with rowing, but he was a uh, drug and alcohol addict, and he was able to recover, um, and he started the process right when I started rowing, and when I saw him be able to overcome those demons, I really truly found that with enough goodwill and uh, help from your family, you can really achieve anything.